Hey guys, my name is Frank. This is the Pothon Programming video log, and today I am going to be doing a little tutorial on multiple inheritance in JavaScript. So multiple inheritance comes in really handy when you have two classes that you want to inherit from. So I set up a little application here that has two classes, the human class and the worker class. And I'm going to create a class called Bob, which will just be a guy who inherits from the human class and the worker class. So I'm going to go declare Bob function Bob, give him a job. I'm not going to give him a name parameter because his name is definitely going to be Bob. Um, and then we're going to do just basic class inheritance from the human class and the worker class inside of the Bob class because Bob is going to be both a human and a worker. So how you do that is just say human dot call. You give it the target of this, which is the new instance of Bob that you're creating when you call the Bob constructor. Um, and then you're going to pass it a name, but not that name. We're going to call him Bob. And then we're going to call the worker class inside of the Bob constructor as well. And we're going to pass that the job parameter for Bob. And if you guys want a little backstory or a little explanation of this existing code, I have two previous tutorials that work off of this, this example up here. So feel free to go back and check that out before you continue watching this because it might help a little bit with the understanding of what's going on here. So now I'm going to do basic prototype inheritance for Bob. And how you do that is you say bob.prototype equals, and then you want to use the object.create method, object.create human.prototype. So what this does is it sets the bob prototype to equal an exact duplicate of the human prototype. You don't want to just set it to the human prototype because then if you go and make changes to your human prototype, your Bob prototype will change as well. So you just want it to equal the exact code in the human prototype, and then you want it to be a copy of that code so you don't end up overwriting the human prototype later on if you decide to change anything in the Bob prototype. So now I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to create my Bob variable. He's going to equal a new Bob, and his job is going to be rocket ship captain and then we're going to call bob.talk which we are going to get from the human prototype up here in the human prototype we define the talk function so the talk function uses the name variable which is defined in the human class so if everything goes accordingly and to plan and everything works, then Bob will have a name variable that it inherited from the human class, and Bob will have the talk function which it inherited from the human prototype. So we're going to save our file with Control S. I'm going to come over here, refresh my web browser page, and see what happens. And he says, hey, I'm a human, and my name is Bob which is exactly what we want because here in the talk function in the human prototype we have, hey, I'm a human and my name is plus whatever the name is that we give our human. And we gave our human, Bob, the name Bob. So now I have a problem because I know that in order to inherit a prototype, I use this block of code right here. But if I go up and try to set bob.prototype up to equal... the worker prototype, this code right here will overwrite the human prototype that I just set my prototype to equal. And I will lose all the code in that prototype. So what I have to do is do something called a mixin. And JavaScript actually has a function that you can use to do that without writing any of your own code. So first, you have to give it a target. You have to give the assign function a target. So we're going to do bob.prototype. 
and then you have to give it a source to mix into the target. So we're going to mix into the target our worker dot prototype. So basically what we're doing here is we're setting the Bob prototype up to equal the prototype of our first class. And then we're going to take our second class's prototype and mix it into the Bob prototype, effectively giving us a prototype that encompasses both the human prototype and the worker prototype, which is what we want. So now when I come down here, I should also have inherited the work function from the worker prototype right here. As you can see, there's a work function. It says, I am a worker and my job is whatever the job is. So the job should be a rocket ship captain. So I'm going to save my file. I'm going to go over to my browser, refresh the page. Now it says, hey, I'm a human and my name is Bob. I am a worker and my job is rocket ship captain. So as you can see, we have achieved multiple inheritance from two different classes, which is awesome in my opinion, because before I knew how to do it this way, it was a complex process indeed. So this is how you do it. The object.assign method is a really great way to mix in different prototypes. As for multiple class inheritance, it's really simple. You just have to call in the constructor of the class that you want to inherit um, the constructor functions of the classes you want to inherit from. So for instance, human.call on uh, the this object, and then you pass it the parameters accordingly, and then you would call from your other class constructor on this object and hand it its parameters accordingly. So that's how you do multiple inheritance in JavaScript. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it helps you out with your coding, and if you like the video, please like it actually on YouTube and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have more interesting videos coming out pretty soon. And thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.